Hello and welcome back to Genshin Impact and here we are again with Linny and yeah we're going to carry on with the Archon quest where we have to distribute these magic pockets. So you're the blonde traveler that everyone's been talking about. My apologies for not recognizing you earlier. Oh, a magic pocket? Seems you really thought of everything. I guess it's better to prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Thanks. Uh, please, also thank the magician on my behalf when you get the chance. All right. Well, you can thank him now. He's right here. <laughs> These mech things are very cool. Playable mecha character, when? What's this? Uh, so you also believe in the prophecy. <laughs> Keep it. I won't have any use for it. What? You mean you don't believe in the prophecy? No, no, I believe in the prophecy. But I also believe in another story. The story says that people once lived in the ocean. They were one with the ocean and couldn't live apart from it. It's all very well, but you have lungs now. But as time wore on, people desired to live on land and developed blood vessels, encapsulating the sea within their bodies. Thus could people set foot on land. The Little Mermaid. So, if you ask me, when the water rises and takes us all, it'll be like we're going home. Sounds a bit cultish, almost. Oh, we hadn't heard that one before. But people can't live underwater, they'll die! You should probably still take it. <sighs> All right, I'll take it. I guess I just feel that being dissolved into the water doesn't necessarily mean death. Did you hear yourself just now? Do you know what dying means? It reminds me of that scene from uh, whichever Marvel movie it was. Yes, that's what killing you means. Ooh, a boat captain, hello. Huh? <laughs> I don't want that thing. The way I see it, if the prophecy's true, it's still gonna be a long time before the water can cover everything. What they gotta do is invest in boats. House boats. Then you can just float on top of it all. Easy. Put me in charge. Life is all about living in the moment. What use is there in worrying about the future all the time? We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. You should still take it. You never know when it'll come in handy. Mm. Oh, all right, fine. But thanks. It's just that... If I start moving, that means I've already given up on the life I have now. I'd really rather not. Look, your issues are understandable, but I think it's kind of dumb to not think about it, at least. Oh? You already handed out all of the magic pockets? Hm. That was fast. So, what did people have to say? I bet you heard some, mm. uh, interesting opinions. No kidding. Many are quite stubborn. Yes, but that will change once disaster strikes. <laughs> I know they'll change their minds, so it's only right to help them prepare. Is there anything else you need to do before we leave? Yes, one last thing. I have the magic pockets made by a workshop in the Court of Fontaine. Since we're out and about, I was thinking about bringing him some more materials. You want to collect materials? Just tell us what the materials look like and we'll help! Many hands make light work! Oh, that would be much appreciated. We'll need some Romaritime flowers. I remember seeing them near the waterfront on the east side of the harbor. Alright, fetch quest. Fetch quest time. Sorry, I just need a drink of water. I 
I guess we don't get to see them on the map yet because we don't have the map unlocked. I love seeing the new regional specialties though. Look how pretty those flowers are. Are they what we need for him? Huh. I forgot about this. All right, we're gonna swap out Layla for Kokomi. We'll need a strategy. I do prefer using a shielder. Uh, rather than a healer, I think, for this guy, but... Okay, so it's not these flowers that we need. Okay. What are these? Marco. They are not the right. Oh, I didn't pick it up. So we have to bloom them. That's so nice. I'm gonna take this one as well. I'm excited to be picking up all of the stuff that we uh, can get from this place. I love amassing a collection of something. And here we go. He made quick work of that. I can tell you're an experienced traveler. I've also finished collecting a few here. Maybe next time you'll feel like helping too, Lynette. <laughs> Oof. No way. I'm in power saving mode today. Otherwise, I fear I may not have any energy left for the performance at the Opera House. How is saving mode, huh? <sighs> Fine. Though the performance is still a long way off. Now that we're finished here, we should get ready to head back to the Court of Fontaine. So, we're going to the Court of Fontaine before we head to the Opera House? Good. Paimon wants a tour of Fontaine's largest city and try... Bye, Paimon. Shut up. <laughs> Wait, shh. Have you noticed that person over there? The young girl. Huh? What's wrong with her? Paimon didn't notice anything. <laughs> She's obviously a thief. Magicians and thieves practice similar methods. We divert attention and a distracted audience is one that won't discover what you're really doing. Watch her movements carefully. Oh, he's right! Shh, keep your voice down. We need to think of a way to catch her, but it seems she's very alert. Perhaps we should split up. You two can ride the lift over there and wait up top. I bet that'll be her escape route if she tries to run. Understood. All right, let's go. Perfect. I've been waiting for an opportunity to get in this lift. So where do I go exactly? I'm so excited. We've only seen this tiny, tiny bit of Fontaine so far. And already I love it. Alright, how long is this lift then? The wall was pretty high, so we're probably going to be in here for a few minutes. Very cool way to enter the, uh, uh, an area. Although I'm excited to get some waypoints down so we can just <laughs> teleport. Ooh. An oculus. Just for me. Oh, this is the, this is the, the thingy that we saw in the, um, what are the words? I cannot remember. I'm just so focused on this quest. Uh, the special program. That's how you get to the rest of Fontaine. I guess I should, I guess I should do this. Is this the crab? Oh, okay. Underground. At least it's kind of on the way. 
Because I'm going to need to be fighting that guy a few times. Eh? Did light just stop flooding from that statue of the seven just now? That's so weird. Did anything like this ever happen before? It's normal for a statue of the seven to glow. Sorry, you didn't feel uncomfortable at all. Wow, I feel like I'm using gills to breathe. Good for you. First try growing a pair of gills and show Paimon. Huh. Seems like you're feeling pretty good. Paimon can't believe Paimon was actually worried about you for a moment there. Though, after it lit up like that, the air does feel a lot more humid. Maybe it's because of all that hydro energy that was released. <laughs> I'm on heard that in Fontaine you can use elemental energy properly. If you can use elemental energy properly, you can even swim underwater. Maybe you can find sunken treasure. I'm on to leave diving for treasure for you. I'm on will stand on the shore and wait for you. It'll be lonely going underwater alone. Wah! But... But being in the water is scary. <laughs> I'm picturing her doing like a Waluigi noise, which I will not be doing right now, I'm afraid. What if Paimon accidentally gets swept in a current and gets all turned around and dizzy? Then she won't be able to fly away no matter what. Just like before Paimon met you back in Mondstadt. Then I'll fish you out again. Really? Then maybe Paimon can try going underwater with you. Hmm. You better not go back on your word. Oh, we've got diving now. I'm so excited for underwater exploration. Amazing. All right, let's carry on with the quest now. Sorry about that little interlude. This is the spot where Linny wanted us to wait. There she is. Get ready to stop her. Oh no! Did she notice us? She started running the other direction! What should we do? Should we chase her? Our job is to block this path. The rest is up to Li Linny. I got so used to calling him Liney that I'm having to like train myself to call him Linny. You wait, but there's no sign of the thief. Nothing's happened for a while now. Paimon wonders if Linny caught the thief. Seems there's no reason for us to stay here. Let's go find Linny. Yeah, let's go. Say it ain't so. I don't want to have to go back down. Must I? Nope. Wonderful. Are you sure that's all she took? You should check to make sure you're not missing anything else. N no, that was all. Oh, I can't thank you enough. I didn't notice a thing earlier. A anyway, I should be going now. Thanks again. Oh, were you returning with the thief at Stolen? That's right. Pity I wasn't able to catch her. She distracted me by dropping the thing she stole on the ground. By the time I looked back, she was already gone. I saw the general direction she went, but Linny twisted his ankle, and I needed to make sure he was okay. Oh, did you get hurt, Linny? I'll be all right. It's just a twisted ankle, that's all. In fact, it's feeling better already. That a little reference to his skills, he giving himself damage. If you want to play at being a hero, at least try not to get hurt doing it. Imagine what would happen if you managed to derail our performance as a result. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Sorry, Lynette. <sighs> I have to admit that the thief was even more skilled than I had anticipated. But at least we were able to get the stolen items back, so it wasn't a complete failure. What a slippery little thief! Guess things turned out alright in the end, though. Lily's initiative paid off! All right, let's put this little detour behind us. We should go to the Court of Fontaine now. <gasps> it's Aquabus time. I'm so excited. Ride 
this thing to go into the city? What an ingenious way to get around. People in Fontaine really know how to use water. This is an aqua bus. It allows people to travel between several key locations around Fontaine. It's pretty convenient, but the ride can become a little dull after a while. The scenery is always the same. That's why it's better to travel with friends. So you mean it's still boring even when I'm riding with you? Uh, no, that's not what I meant. It's <laughs> just that, uh, well, you don't really talk that much. Besides, it doesn't really feel like a real trip when it's just the two of us. It's the same as being at home. <laughs> hmm. Whatever. <laughs> That's what it's like to be an older brother. <laughs> She's looking very fond. <laughs> it's about time for us to leave. Let's get on board. Are we ready? I'm ready. Oh, hey, Charlotte. It's Charlotte. Oh, I'd never guessed I'd bump into you all riding the Aquabus. In the story of my life, this is big news. What are you doing in Fontaine? I didn't hear anything about you paying us a visit. Yeah, it's quite the coincidence. But as travelers, we're always on the move. It's not surprising that nobody knew we were coming. Uh, though we still have no idea how the Hydro Archon knew about us. Oh, let Paimon introduce you to our new friends. Oh, no need for introductions, Paimon. I would recognize the great magician Linny and his assistant Lynette anywhere. I wouldn't be much of a reporter if I didn't know who they were. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Charlotte, a reporter for the Steambird. Nice to meet you. From the Steambird, huh? We've often relied on your paper to promote our performances. It's an honor to meet you. <sighs> now that everyone knows each other, Fontaine suddenly doesn't feel like such an unfamiliar place. So, what have you been up to lately, Charlotte? Any big news? Not too much. When there isn't any breaking news, I mainly cover the trials at the Opera House. You could still manage to keep readers' attention as long as you tell things from a clever enough angle, even if it's the same old topics. For example, reporting on how a scammer once deceived vulnerable girls into relationships, or how a financial criminal was once so poor that they ate a single piece of bread for five days. That would definitely get my attention, but that's not really the kind of news you're after. Ah, oh, you're right. Seems you know me pretty well. What I'm really after is exclusive, sensational news pieces that could shake the country. These smaller stories are a waste of my talents. Honestly, now that we're here, I'm sure you'll get plenty of exclusive, sensational news pieces. Oh, I just remembered. I've been following a case lately. Well, a series of cases, actually. You mean the serial disappearances of young women case? That's right. These stories are the talk of the town right now, and it's probably the most mysterious case we've ever seen. If I'm the first with a draft ready to publish when the case is finally cracked, and it's the headline story in the Steambird... Oh! When that happens, I bet all the other reporters will shed tears of envy. I've already gathered all kinds of materials. I just can't wait for the truth to be revealed. So, what is the serial disappearances of young women case? You mean the culprit hasn't been found? That's right. The first missing girl case happened almost 20 years ago. And ever since, after a period of time, another girl disappears. What the cases have in common is that the girls are all of a similar age and that they've all vanished without a trace. But the scariest part is that to this day, none of the girls have ever been found. Many suspects have been arrested over the years in connection with this case, but shortly after each arrest, another disappearance would always happen. And there must be more than one criminal at work. Yes, it's possible. But either way, I believe that every case has some precise truth behind it, waiting to be exposed. Yes, I agree. And at the very least, the family of those missing girls deserves some sort of explanation. 
Well, I'm pleased that he's highlighting it. second what I would do if Lynette were to suddenly disappear. I'd pay any price to get her back, and then find a way to track down the culprit. That was a little weird. I didn't click anything. <laughs> I was just about to say, I'm kind of glad that he's highlighting how strange it Please was. Don't imagine that, Linny. Okay, we just, we just be going, huh? I don't think I've got it on autoplay. Oh well, I guess they have to wrap it up while we're on the aqua bus. The audio is kind of weird with the water sound. Everything looks really beautiful though. I like the architecture. Big into the whole Art Deco Baroque fusion thing they have going on that they mentioned in the special program. Well, I really enjoyed chatting with you. Life should be full of pleasant little surprises like this. Yeah, us as well. The ride went by too quickly. Oh, I have an interview to get to. I should get going before I'm late. Okay, Paimon hopes we can chat again soon, Charlotte. See ya! <laughs> Bye now. Oh, be sure to stop by and see me at the Steambird when you have time. What a tough job. Always running around and interviewing everyone. <sighs> well, where should we go now? If you don't mind, how about we stop by my home first? Besides, I still have all the materials we collected. Sure, we wouldn't mind at all. This city is so huge, Paimon wouldn't know where to start anyway. Wow. Is that the energy thing? That's powered by their love of justice? Or is it just a pretty feature? God, everything's so picture perfect here. I gotta say, it's pretty delightful. Alright. This feels like a pretty good stopping point for now. So I will see you in the next video. I will see what Lenny's house is like. Bye for now.